Hello and welcome to our little art studio. I am Miss Kimberly, one of the art teachers with our school and one of the many, many, many creative and artistic HSTs and parents and friends and just a whole community of creatives. What I want to talk with you today about is doodling. Doodling is a fantastic thing to do. There are so many studies about how it improves our brains and how much it helps us to focus. Um, I did want to share the kind of official meaning of doodling and it just means to draw or scribble without much thought, which is Hello, so cool and so relaxing. But what we're going to do today is <clears throat> first things first, I want you to have your sketchbook or just printer paper. I always have a clipboard full of it and um, a Sharpie, you know me with my Sharpies, pencil, eraser, and that's it for this one. Um, and then we'll do a second video on a different type of doodling. Okay, what I'd like you to do is gather those supplies and um, you can pause the video while you go get them. And then when you come back, I want you to do a tracing of your hand and add a little bit of the wrist in there. Okay. We're going to actually do an activity that is kind of called the fingerprint hand, if you want to name it something. But the, the really cool thing about this exercise is for us to realize that our hands are obviously um, so unique to just us. And the beauty of that with creating or making anything is as much as we sometimes inside might struggle and feel like, oh, mine doesn't look like so-and-so's. Um, that's what we're hoping for, that it doesn't look like so-and-so's exactly, right? Because our hands have very individual, you, oh, there's my band-aid for my puppy, but our hands have our own fingerprints and function in their own way um, special to us. So anything that we create, it will, even if you try to copy so, so, so much, it still will have your own specific style to it. And that's what's so cool. Okay. One of the things we want to think about, my lines are a little bit darker so that you could see them, but I like to, uh, we're going to actually eventually erase our pencil lines. So I like to act, use what I call whisper lines. So that just means that I'm applying a very light pressure um, when I'm putting the pencil marks down. Here's one here. <clears throat> you can see it right there. And if I go in and erase it, it's really, it erases very, very easily. Uh, but for purposes of the video, mine's a little bit darker, but we will be erasing that. Okay, so first things first, we're actually, now you're welcome to draw with your pencil first, doodle with your pencil first, and then trace over it with um, your Sharpie or a different type of marker. But I love uh, the contrast with the black and white. The white makes black pop and the black makes the white pop. And I just like that combination. It really gives a really strong foundation when we're working with those two colors. All right. One of the things I wanted to share as well is that when you doodle, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm in a meeting or reading anything, <laughs> I am doodling all the time, taking notes, drawing pictures, taking notes, drawing pictures all over everything. Doodling has been proven to increase focus, um, not just for kids, but for adults alike. It also 
actually helps to lower our heart rate and really bring on a feeling of being relaxed. So do feel free to add your own music, listen to your own music while you're doing this activity and just follow along a little bit. But again, you can decide how your pattern's gonna go, okay? But I am going to be making a fingerprint image throughout my entire outline of my hand. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna start with a shape that we all know, which is just the oval, okay? And I'm gonna stay in one finger and then head over to the next. All right, and then I'm just gonna go around it again and around it again. So once you get to the edge where your pencil line is, you don't have to make a complete oval anymore. You're just gonna finish it off where it would hit, where it would meet that pencil line. Okay, next one, oval, small oval, bigger oval, nice wide oval. And it's okay if you don't touch your pencil line perfectly, doesn't matter, it will be erased. All right, continue. So when we repeat and repeat and repeat a pattern, your heart rate just starts to relax, your shoulders relax, your tummy relaxes, and I'm telling you, I do it all the time. If I had, hmm, I just gave myself an idea. I was going to say, even if I was waiting in line, I would do it. Why can't I? I just need to have a miniature sketchbook with me. I could easily make one of those. So our thumb looks a little bit different. I started my oval off to the side. You can start it right smack dab in the middle if you want to. It's your handprint. But you want to fill it up all the way to the edge where the outline is. Okay. Now that's looking a little silly, but that's the joy of doodling. It not only strengthens our concentration and helps us stay focused, but it also increases our creativity, right? As soon as you start something, you're like, oh, now I have an idea to do this. And oh, that gave me an idea to do that. With my art students, every single time, I kid you not um, that we will start talking and sharing about a project. One will share one idea and it is literally like a, a pebble when you when you drop a pebble in water and you have all these ripple effects well that's what doodling does for you too for your brain we just start and then your brain does what it does and it just allows this ripple effect of inspiration to take over okay so the next part that we want to do is actually i call him the lazy you because he's not standing up real super awake. And I'm just making lazy U's underneath my fingerprint, kind of going down to that and filling in this center section of my finger. Go as far as you want. That's where I'm going. Taking it over nice and easy. Makes me kind of think of a hammock. Somebody laying in a hammock. Or kind of maybe kicking back on a porch swing or something like that. There we go. Continuing on. You can see that my lazy use are not... Um, exact right they're not perfectly the same and I don't want that I just want to enjoy side to side 
you even gonna come over and do it on my thumb? Whoops, didn't make it all the way. There you go. Now, the next series is actually gonna start from the center and come down. So you can give it a center uh, for this finger. We'll just start from the center. We're just gonna bring our line straight down. And then we're going to take our lines out to the edge, kind of like it's split. Maybe it's doing a little dance right there. From on this finger, we're going to bring those lines straight down. Oh, I could, I just got an idea. I could see these once they're all done either colored in a pattern. Yeah, this one I think I'm gonna do like this a little bit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe even this one over to the fold. Two, three, do as many as you can fit or as you want. Okay. For, I think, this one, hmm, I kind of want to make that a little bit longer, and I think I'm going to bring, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this out and up and make a giant 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 fingerprint right in the middle of my palm ah oh that's so fun that's fun oh goodness i hope you send your pictures in of what you create this one i think i'm going to pick up from this side and do some swoops. Very technical name, swoops. That's so fun. And maybe since I swooped up, I'll swoop down on this one. There we go. Oh my goodness, so fun. This one, I'm going to put a second fingerprint right in the center again. I might even give it a little bit of wiggly lines to fill it in. Hmm. Okay, okay. What shall I do next? <clears throat> I'm going to hop over to where my thumb meets the palm right here and I think it's really cool when you think about the palm of your hand right like you think about your fingers holding your the ones that are making everything but my goodness this is the foundation right control it helps move the muscles helps everything stay connected and and together um, <clears throat> so for the palm I think I want to put a giant 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 fingerprint right there oh i love to repeat it's just so nice a lot of doodlers will find that they tend to doodle the same thing over and over and i find that for myself as well i definitely do that i don't to be honest i'm not really sure why i do it but it's something that my brain does automatically and it's flowers i will doodle those over and over and over again and circles um, most likely i'm going to bring some simple lines this way and simple lines this way i think it's because for my brain that's what really calms it down and it does it almost, yeah, I would say automatically. 
Okay, so one of the things I want to share too is when you're working in your sketchbook or on just regular paper, you can always make sure that you move your book or your paper around to make it work for you. Okay, you don't want to tweak yourself. You can't be like, great, <clears throat> now I've broke my arm trying to doodle. No, 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 no. Let us not. Let us not do that. Okay. I think I am making some interesting decisions with my thoughts. Just letting it go. I was going to play music for you guys while doing this, and then I thought, well, maybe they have their own special music they like to listen to, as we all do. Okay. Hmm. Where do I want to go next? I think. I like, I think I kind of want to bring back in that lazy you. I think, I think that's kind of fun. But what I'll do is some scallops. Like a double lazy you. Not a double you. A double lazy you. There we go. And maybe I'll fill this in a little bit more. And then here is where I will make a big lazy you. And even, even, even. Oh, I just... I don't know if you're like me, you guys, where you are doing something, you're like, oh, I see something. Now I see eyes and a mouth, and now I can't unsee that. But that's what is so fun about doodling. It's so random, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, there's a tree, or a bug, or whatever. Okay, let's do... Maybe the banding again. I like that. I like that a lot. And you could just do your hand, not have to take it all the way into the wrist. Let it come all the way over. It kind of makes it look overlap, doesn't it? All right. Now I'm going to actually kind of hide a, a fingerprint behind this one. You know, if you guys do that sometimes, you're like, ooh, I want to add that. And let it fall right behind there. Then I think, so this is where usually where I'll stop, and I'm like, what would I love to repeat? I think I would love, love to give one more big fingerprint and I'm going to do it a bit squirrely so it can go out as big as it wants but the super cool thing about doodling is um, you can save, I save them. I'll show you what I do with them next in the next video. There were even, you guys, um, famous, famous people that doodled all the time. They're a master doodler on all of his notes and designs and everything. He was an artist, engineer, scientist, etc., inventor. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci, oh my goodness. Oh, I just love seeing his um, little notes and, and small sketches that he made and those types of things. Super cool. I'm going to bring, let's see, I think I'm going to go this way. Yeah, I'll bring it out that way.
And then I think I'll do some straight ones up. Don't worry if it crisscrosses over another one. All good. It's your doodle, right? And then this one I think I'll do And there we have it, my fingerprint hand. Now, the, also the reason why I like Sharpie is it doesn't smear. And I tend to make a mess when I create. So let me, I'm just going to erase. See, these were the last um, lines I put down and I can already erase and don't have to worry about it smearing. Why do you think I'm taking away the outline of my hand. Well, I will tell you, it's super cool, this activity, to not give it a frame so that you come to know doodling as something that can become anything. Okay? It doesn't have to be laid out exactly or look like anybody's. So by taking away the outline, all of a sudden what it actually says is, you know what? There's more to come. When you have open lines like this, there's more that it can grow and there's more it can receive. All right, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. And until then, keep making and creating.